Hey everyone, welcome to the main view. It's your boy, Main VR here. And, you know, this is where I sit down, go over the topic of the week for myself, all right? And today's topic is ports. And if you notice in the background right now, I have the game Obvious VR playing, which is a, you know, it's an early access game, which I will talk a little bit more and you'll kind of understand why I use this game as the backdrop. Um, with the subject matter that I'm talking about. So the subject matter that I'm talking about, it's ports. And no OBS VR is not a port. Okay, it's a made strictly for VR game. So I'm gonna get that right out the bat. But mainly what I wanted to talk about ports is the fact that, you know, over a week ago we had um, Fallout 4 released in on, um, on Steam and over a week of before that we had Skyrim on the PlayStation VR and so naturally you have Rift users who are wondering when are we going to get a port to one of our favorite games on home right made and ported over to the Rift and so there's been a few interviews where Jason Ruman has pretty much has been quoted as saying that um, he's not interested in ports. He's not interested in having the um, Skyrim ported over to the Rift. He's more interested in having uh, MMO made specifically for VR, right? So, hence the reason why I have Orbius playing in the background. It's an MMO made for VR, right? And and so when I uh, you know, came across this news article, which were saying these quotes from Jason Rubin, I, for one, I'm going to be honest, I was highly disappointed in this. I, you know, thought that he was, I thought pretty much that he's on the wrong end of things. I don't think that ports are these negative things to VR. Actually, I think these made for VR games have done more harm to attracting people to VR than they have done help. And mainly because why they're they're boring as hell. You know, most VR games are boring like I don't know what. Uh, or they feel like overpriced games, you know. Um, yeah, mostly boring and feel like overpriced game is one of the things that has been highly detrimental to, to VR. And and mostly when I purchase the VR thing, I purchase it with the idea of, hey, I wanna play Call of Duty. I want to play Halo, I want to play Bioshock, these are the games that I want to play in VR. I literally have no interest in raw data, even though I do own the game, I got bored of it, I don't no longer play it anymore, or, um, you know, games like From Other Sun, which is interesting, but once again, boring, and I've lost interest in that, I don't know when I'll get back to it, I'll, I'll probably only play it if my friends ask me to. and. The list goes on and on and on. There's games that are supposed to be these exciting things that once you get it in your hand and you play, they're just not that exciting. And I, I think a lot of people have forgiven VR games because they're so caught up in the whole newness or, or thing of room scale. And I'm a person who I don't even play room scale, so I just pick apart the game for what it actually is. And, and they don't do it for me. They don't excite me. They don't give me a reason to come back to it, all right? So, which brings us to ports, right? If these main AAA developers could port their game over into VR, all while learning about what works and what doesn't work, giving us, you know, full locomotion, you know what I mean? That the game would literally play as if I was you know, using the keyboard and mouse. I think that would have done a lot more help to pushing VR forward. You know what I mean? You could throw a warning on Call of Duty and give Call of Duty a VR mode. And, and, and not just like a little one or two mission, but like run through the whole entire game in VR. You know, yes, it will make some people throw up, but it would be their own fault for buying that game, knowing that it's that intense. 
now. I just rambled on about that, and I was so upset, so upset when I read that, you know what I mean, that I, I got onto Twitter, you know, that's what we do, we get on Twitter, we ramble on, so I got onto Twitter, I, I shoot over um, Jason Rubin a, a, a quick message and, and everything like that on Twitter, and hats off to Jason, he's always done this, he's never backed away from a... Um, from a controversy and I hats off to him for that and I think Oculus is going to be a great company because of guys like him in it that truly believes in it and and, and it would just mean Ray Rubin have had you know seen different visions and and and, and I I give him a lot of credit for what he has done for Oculus so far so now fast forward to back to what I was talking about I just wanted to give that you know hats off to just to show you guys what I'm where I come from when it comes to Jason it's not like this oh I hate Jason Rubin he's ruined VR up no I don't have that feeling towards him I give him tons of credit I, I think he's done the best with what he works with you know what I mean but he what he's working with is a bunch of indie developers who yes they are enthusiastic about VR but their games just isn't that exciting and some of the, the some of the things that they've chosen, some of the directions that they've chosen for VR is just, um, you know, it's narrow-sided. You know, they you have to, they have to come to the understanding that VR is a very personal thing. If someone says, if someone only likes full locomotion, you're not going to get them to play your game in, in teleport because you telling them how wonderful this game is. No, they're just not going to do it. All right, so. My ramble aside, when he comes back to the porting, you know, and I, I get on there and I'm like, Jason, I completely disagree with you. And I hit my points of why I think ports would be very helpful to VR, you know, and, and, and you know, yes, I've, I've, like I said, I've had talks back and forth between Jason, not like I'm saying, oh, we're cool, blah, 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 only on Twitter, you know what I mean? I've said stuff on Twitter and Jason has always been you know very open and very upfront about what he, he's doing over there so when I sent this message and, and it, I would admit uh, and you know hats off to Jason it might have sounded a little ranty you know what I mean um, you know what I mean I don't know if it was anger but it wasn't so much anger it's just like I felt like you know I was this is something I'm really passionate about because I want ports in VR I want to play these games I want these on oculus not just on Steam and Open VR because Open VR plays like crap on Oculus. I want him in home playing on the Oculus runtime. But what Jason was did was he he answered me, you know. And here's what he said. And I respect your opinion, you know. One clarification though: there is nothing preventing any quality ports from submitting and selling on Oculus Home. Quite the Oculus. Quite the opposite. We would welcome them. Let the buyers decide. The choice is not to sell. The choice to not to sell is not being made, you know. Um, hold on. Ah, uh, sorry. The choice not to sell is being made by the developer and the producer. You know? And I think it's all because the. When Oculus first was released, they got this all these bad press. And so now you have these developers who are siding with HTC, you know, with the vibe and Steam and everything like that, instead of giving some, you know, some of the ports over onto Oculus. And if you only want to sell your port on Steam, I'm okay with that. But at least use the Oculus, you know, API because, you know, the open VR API does not work very well with Oculus. I don't care what anyone says. It, it, it is janky. It, it doesn't give you good performance. Unless they fix that and bring it up to the level of the Oculus API, I think all developers, if you're going to be porting anything, should at least, if you're going to, you know, allow the Oculus to be working on it, how do you make it completely, you know, exclusive to the Vive, but if you're also making it that the Oculus can use it to, use the oculus api in order to do that and that that's just the one thing that i wanted to say all right people that's my little rant for a minute and i hope you guys um 
you know, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and uh, keep coming back and give me feedback so I can make a great channel for you guys. Okay. Bye.